just want to let you know, Lemonade has their say earnings call question Q and A uh, portal now open. I've submitted three questions, which I'll uh, reveal to here now. And uh, yeah, this is for the earnings call next week, February 24th in the morning. Uh, I think it's 8 a.m. Eastern time is the time there. And their uh, their earnings would come out the previous day, 23rd, uh, after hours close. So the three, I had some uh, questions I thought of and some people gave some feedback on Twitter to kind of help craft some of the questions I thought might be uh, the most interesting to ask. And so these are the three questions I asked. First one was, how can Lemonade sustain rapid growth and cash burn for many years. How and approximately when do you see the switch to profitability happening? Of course, this is a really important question and kind of will help tell the sort of binary outcome, I believe, for Lemonade is if they can become profitable or not. I don't think the management's going to give us really, you know, clear guidance, but if they can give even sort of hint at things or sort of get a better uh, insight to their level of confidence or thinking on time frame, it might be really helpful. So a really important question, I feel. And then the next question I asked was, once the Metro Mile acquisition closes, how and will the, how will the rollout of Lemonade Car occur? Do you expect to immediately offer Lemonade Car in every street possible? Or do you plan to roll it out more conservatively and slowly? Why? So, hope, again, uh, especially over the next year or two, as you think about how much Enforce Premium they could be adding, how they could be... Ch- maybe moving towards a sort of a stage of profitability this kind of helps uh, lay out more of the details towards that and and maybe just giving us a better understanding as investor of how this rollout could occur and then the third one i asked was and i thought about asking other questions uh, about um, sort of how good their car data is how good their how, how confident they are in their car underwriting and somebody kind of suggested a question more around an ai investor day uh, which I thought would be maybe a little more broad, and obviously, if they were to do a day like that, could be really, really telling uh, for investors for a lot of those kind of those questions. So the third question was, would you ever do an AI investor day as your AI systems uh, efficiency, efficient administration, better underwriting, fraud prevention, etc., are all a big part of the lemonade bowl case? It would give great confidence to long-term investors to see more under the hood details and metrics and i was also going to put in here and also could help attract ai engineering talent but i ran out of space for the question so i just cut that part out but uh i think uh that could be really really interesting i don't know if they obviously they they keep a lot of those things sort of as their secret sauce and they don't want to reveal too much detail but if they were to do a a or maybe it's a maybe it's a few blog posts because they like to do blog posts. Maybe it's not an AI day, but something to reveal a little more information, a few more metrics, uh, a few more maybe success stories and examples of ways they're sort of they're harnessing AI, uh, whether it's the sort of nuanced data and cr- or cross data between different products that customer may have to give better confidence that this person's a less risky customer or a more risky customer, etc. Uh, just some more concrete examples and metrics information and the details of kind of what they're actually pulling from at least at some level don't have to reveal everything right um, I think could give investors a lot of confidence so those are my three questions there was other ones too I would have liked to ask about churn um, and again how, how good the sort of underwriting of the lemonade car how feel how good they think that is you know is there any risk they could be pricing people too cheaply right now and then be having to pay out more uh have a really really bad loss ratio on car some questions there i would have liked to ask but uh, i can only ask three questions so if any of those questions you think are worthy of an upvote please go upvote them so we can have them asked and submit your questions as well so okay thank you so much for watching have a great day and remember in the bag.